Hello, everyone, and welcome back to The Sauce with Kenzie Taylor. I have a co-host today, Michael Boston. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> and I have a very special guest, Freya Parker. Hello. Hi, Freya. Hi. Tell everyone a little about yourself. How tall are you? I what am 5'10". What color eyes do you have? I have green eyes. Oh, <laughs> my yeah. God. Only 2% of the population has green eyes. Green yeah. eyes? How green? I can't see from here. Super green. Su ooh. Green like money, baby. <laughs> is that what it says on your license? Money green or super green? <laughs> super green. Super green. <laughs> Mine says hazel. Because <laughs> I'm sad. <laughs> okay. I didn't want to say brown. Um, Freya is in the adult industry. I am. And you've been in for a little over a year, correct? Yeah, a little over a year. What do you think of it so far? It's kind of everything I expected it to be. Yeah? Yeah. She's an infant. She, yeah. Is it true? You were a little bit of a, just like a tiny, just a little what? bit of a porn fan Me? prior. Yeah, like just a smidge. You knew like just a little bit I, before getting I, in. I would say that. Yeah, just a tad. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What was your What was your favorite thing uh, that you knew? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. What, or what was your favorite, or who was your favorite person, I guess? My favorite person? Yeah. Oh, I had several people. Okay, first of all, one of them is hanging on my wall in my bedroom. Oh. Still to this day. It's her. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> um, It's my gaping apple. Uh, oh my God, yes. No, oh my God. it's not though. I have my ass on my wall. I'm not even kidding. It, yeah. It will be one day, but we're not there yet. Um, but I have Nina Hartley. I have a Nina Hartley poster on my wall. I love Nina. Mm -hmm. And um, Julia. Are you looking for? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Julia Ann. We love you. <laughs> it, was, it was a Julia Ann fan. Just like a tiny bit. Nothing crazy. <laughs> Speaking of dropping, didn't names. stand outside of her window or anything like that with a fucking boombox. Oh my and god, a lighter That's that did not on a, on a, a drivable lawnmower. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right. That, she did not do that. No, like, I didn't all. do that. What are those called? I don't know, is that what it's called? A drivable lawnmower? I don't know what it's fucking called because I never had one. There's dr a driving lawnmower and a push mower. So is that, drivable is that, like, is that like the technical drivable term? Drivable is meaning that the lawnmower is. Actually, it's a drive a motor lawnmower, vehicle, but as well. you can act like a GPS too. <laughs> Do you need one for a yard? Or? I mean, have you seen some of the yards that people use those for? You might. Michael Peaches, everybody. Michael Peaches. <laughs> she, Michael Boston, too. Right she now. she is uh, making an appearance. Uh, I know who she is. It's he. Um, how dare you? He, she, they, them. <laughs> YouTube doesn't like nipples, okay? Yeah, but I'm a male. Keep them away. <gasps> He's using his privilege. <gasps> oh my god, I'm <laughs> triggered. <laughs> it's not my fault. It's their fault. I didn't do it. Is it? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm just. You know what? Whatever. If no, demonize me. It's fine. <laughs> so Freya, what is your favorite thing about uh, being a adult film star so far? Other than obviously the fact that. You get to have sex with hot people. Uh, well, that's, yeah, that's a good one. That's a plus. Are they always that <laughs> hot, though? I find like that's not I mean, not always. Let's just be I honest. I feel like it's like a loaded question. I feel like... <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> it's a stretch. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> but no, I think that... I think I like that uh, the flexibility of my job. I like the flexibility. I like being able to take three weeks off of work if I want to. Absolutely. I like working with who I want to and what companies and I so just you're very like choosy it. about who you work well, with. Well, I'm what actually companies. super not choosy, but I like the fact that I have the opportunity to say I can be if I want to be choosy. Yeah. And so I am I'm actually not, but you know, I can be if I want to be. And it's that's nice you don't get that with option. every job. I yeah. I just began, so I just hit 7 years in the industry this March and I just began like being super choosy like finally As now in my be. career yeah. but like at first i was just like oh yeah whatever i'll do that yeah yeah but now i'm like who's the talent yeah who's, who's the it for what's happening who's directing give me a play by play what type of scene yeah how long am i gonna be there for yeah, I'm like, is hair and makeup provided yeah like, <laughs> like i need to know all the details before i'll accept anything yeah but yeah I that's guess. where i'm at what about you are you choosy are you just an open whore as long as i'm getting like you know, a good amount of money. I don't care. Yeah. Yeah. 
You just bend right over. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I'll bend right over for the right price. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. For the right price. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, not for like... Something. If the price is right. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Wow. You know, name your price, girl, and I will decide whether that is appropriate or not. <laughs> for, what uh, What were you doing before uh, porn? What was your job? I was um, a staffing recruiter and an admin assistant for for a staffing company so people would come in with resumes and they'd be like um hi i have two felonies and i'm <laughs> on the sex offenders registry and only one of my legs works um sir i just came in my pants can you go back to <laughs> the first sentence you said to the like felonies? what no because you have it was two never... felonies you sure you don't have three like no the, actually the <laughs> max amount that someone came in with one time was 40. someone had 40 no. felonies i would have came so hard in my pants <laughs> i would have been like are you gonna murder me like should I go out back? No, like, I was really is scared. Your Just chuck me in the trash. I don't know. <laughs> it's a like, scary feeling. I feel like you're a weird conglomeration <laughs> yeah. of a straight man, a gay man, and a woman. Like, I, it's I'm weird. So yeah, it's weird. I'm, it's I, something I'm like everything. a gay person would say, like, yeah, just like, just, like, just, like just decapitate me and throw me in a bin. I don't care. As long as you're basically. hot. Basically. Pretty much. Basically. <laughs> if the price is right, you know? If the price is or right. Or maybe there's these, no price. These are I don't fair know. statements that are being made, and I can't argue against it. So anyway, Sorry, back to your us. staffing job with the the convicted the forty felons. Yeah. <laughs> so you had to like help find them employment. Well, yeah, because it was never like people that could get jobs on their own. So we had like twenty different companies that we worked for or with, and then people would come in, and I would look at their resumes, and then I had to like deduct certain things from their resumes and from the company. So I'd be like, oh, you have a felony, so you can't work for these people. Or, oh, you don't have transportation, so you can't work for these people. It was, like, super... Tedious. Yeah, and <laughs> Tedious and also sounds, like, kind of depressing. It was the most depressing job I've ever had in my Okay, life. I was going to say that, but I didn't want to, like, throw it under the bus. I'll throw but, it okay. there. It was awful. Yeah. Okay. And I, I was young, and I was getting paid a lot of money. I How think I would have ran time, into baby? oncoming traffic. So I was 18. i just gotten out of high school. Damn, 18 and doing that? Yeah. Freya's making me so oh. hot. Oh, God. When I was 18, I was working fast food. That sounds actually like weird to like, step up. No, I was like, I was getting paid a decent amount of money. No, like exactly. Yeah, exactly. What was, was that your first job? So I had like jobs in young. high school. I'm so young. How, are, how old are you, Freya? I'm 21. Oh, fuck you. I just um, came. I just, I just <laughs> Hands grew, free, baby. I just grew Hands a, free. a gray hair on my pubes. Well, you just said you've been in the industry for seven years. Yeah. Where, where, seven years ago, I was um, in my first oh. year of high school. 20 you weren't 18 yet, so nice try. <laughs> Not saying Wait, shit. So, Freya, when's your birthday? December 19th. What's with the Sages here today? I don't understand. I don't know. Yeah. Today's Sag Haley's day. Haley's birthday is a Sag day. Yeah, day after mine. <laughs> I just got to, yeah. My Sag is waiting at home for me. Yeah? Yeah. You're Sag. Yeah. My Sag. Sag with the Who's saggy Who's actually more earth sign than or... Sag, but whatever. <laughs> probably why we click. Well, Please. I'm a Cancer, okay? Shout out to all the Cancers. Fuck the Cancers. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Fuck your Cancers. Yeah. What, so what was your job, like, did you have a job that you just were like, oh my God, that was like embarrassing or stupid? Like, I'll go first. My first job I ever had, I was a grocery bagger and okay. I made $4 an hour. Yeah, that's... When was that? Yeah. What decade was that? <laughs> <laughs> they were paying you that? I'm 31 and that's when I was uh, wow. 14. I started working. I can't do math. So. Yeah, right it's now. illegal to do that now, but yeah. in, in the state of Michigan at that time, it was So the it was 80s very or 90s much legal. or... No, God, it was the 2000s. It could not have been 2000s. Jesus. Wait, minimum wage was that bad in the 2000s? It, I didn't get minimum wage. I got under minimum wage. Wait, how? I don't know. Were they? Oh, wait, were you able to like get tips? I'm sorry, Freya. No, it, I was a grocery bagger. Well, no one, makes no, no one was they like here. You, well, they can't pay you under minimum wage. No one was like making it rain on the grocery bagger. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> well obviously, but I don't. I don't think for a tip. Up, but don't leave a tip. It's that's fine. crazy to me how they can pay you under minimum I know, wage and I know. you not be a tippable. Now it's illegal, but at that time, yes. That's and crazy. It was, I'll have to look that up. Yeah. That's crazy to but me. But did you have an awesome job? Uh, Okay. That wasn't so awesome. So I only had three jobs before porn. Tell me everything about you. And uh, the first one yeah. was... Yeah, get really I worked, breathy with it. Mm -hmm. uh, well, uh, 
<laughs> um, I worked at a Halloween store. Uh, was it Spirit? I can see that. No, it was Halloween City. Oh, okay, like Spirit. Yeah. Which, by the way, I'm convinced they're like co-owned or something. Yeah. Because I would find like Spirit bags when I was like restocking. You're like, stuff. why don't you just do one thing? And, and I was like, make any sense. wait, what? They're maybe like, come on. Maybe it's better to like I don't know have two companies because you're like right off more. I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't get maybe it. It's a tax thing. But it, mm, yeah. Probably. Laundering. Anyway, go on. <laughs> so I had that job. <laughs> that was my first job. <laughs> That's where my mind goes. <laughs> what was the other one? <laughs> the other one was, um, speaking of money laundering, <laughs> I worked at a dry cleaners. Oh my god! Oh, I knew like she was the, going there. I yeah, I was gonna I say laundromat. Yeah, that's like the kingpin of all kingpins. I feel like dry cleaning laundering. is like a step above laundry because yeah. I technically didn't. We didn't do laundry. Okay, we only did people's like dry cleaning. I'm only pressing this. So, like that's they're only all like I'm they're doing. Versace, yeah. like Gucci suits. Yeah. Which we dealt with Karens all day long, by the way. Like people Some coming in. Some dumb blonde, like forty-five-year-old whores, who, like stay at home all day. Yeah, I'm like you didn't even pay for on. this. Why are you so upset about like, it? All like all you have to do is just like get laid by your husband, like maybe once a night, and then like maybe <laughs> like do it, maybe do a dish. Yeah. I don't know why you're complaining. That's really how it shut felt. Shut the fuck up. No, you're also probably white. So shut Michael the fuck up. Michael Peaches. Ooh. Found a roll tonight. She's getting feisty. Crazy. <laughs> So when Michael Peaches comes out, she gets real feisty, throws peaches at people. <laughs> tomatoes, when you, tomatoes. When you reminded me, reminded me about that the next day, I'm like, oh shit, I, we were joking about that. I forgot. And uh, the jokes we make up are weird. Yeah, they are weird, weird. but like, also like, I'm pretty fucking drunk at that point, so I don't yeah. remember most of them. It makes me sad. Yeah. Shit yeah. happens, you I, know? I, the next time we go out to anywhere, I need to like, just bring a tape recorder. I, I'll put my phone on record. I mean, do you want to document be, our nights out? Probably not, actually. <laughs> <laughs> for the sake of you, no. For the sake of me, like. For the sake of me, it would be awesome. I'd be like, oh. No, yeah, you, you like full, full Netflix special. Yeah. <laughs> and for me, it's like we need to go to AA immediately. <laughs> I'll drive you there <laughs> after you finish all the bad guy bot. Okay, cool. all right, fine. Thanks. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to Freya. Oh my God, they got Freya, are you in a relationship enjoyed. currently? I'm asking for the viewers, but also I really want to know if you'll date a girl. No, I am not. I am not in a relationship. Have you ever dated a girl? Uh, that was, I've only dated women, actually. Wow. Okay. Yes. I've never dated a man before. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Anyway. What? what, what? <clears throat> I'm sorry. Um... <laughs> So what like what kind of like movies do you do? <laughs> oh well, well, I don't know a lot about your sides. So oh, I'm just curious. Okay. It's more of a curiosity for me. Well, I do boy girl and okay. I do girl girl. That's interesting. Yeah, but I I only date women in my personal life. Mm. Okay. So, yeah. That is so interesting yeah. to me. It's so interesting, everybody. I just no, for it's, I no. To everybody at YouTube right now. For a gay, for no no, it, it is interesting for me because like I'm a gay performer. Yeah. And you guys just... I'm I mean, used to a lot of... I'm Weirdly enough, I fuck a lot of straight guys. That's, oh, that's hot. Okay. It's not hot. It's... I mean... Kind of, it's kind of annoying. Yeah, no, I'm sure. But you're even just, then... You're well, like, what's I want also really annoying sometimes, it. too, now that I I've, 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 I am where I am now, I actually get annoyed by gay performers sometimes, too. <laughs> Everyone's just annoying to me at this point. I <laughs> gay, straight, bi, I don't give I a don't fuck. I don't care about anyone okay. anymore. I don't know about you, but The only me. person I want to fuck now is her. That's it. And like, then I'll be done. Yeah. <laughs> no pussy. Like, I'm going to I'm gonna no, top him. Yeah, full, yeah. yeah, top yeah. me. Yeah. Top me all day, all day long, baby. Okay. Like this spiraling. Offer accepted. <laughs> you guys heard it first. Um, if that um, is the case, I will. I will fucking. I'm dead serious. I will make sure that. All right, we're gonna go back to you in like yes. half a second. I'm sorry. <laughs> we're going back to the. We're going right back now, to the guest. Back to the guest. Right. Sorry. Yes. Bye. Shut it. Um. Anyway. <laughs> so Freya, um, I don't know about you, but like how you were saying, you know, working with straight people, and it's just like, uh, do you ever get scenes with girls that don't like? Eating pussy or kissing girls or anything so, like that. Like I've, heard, story of my life. I've heard, I've heard like nightmare stories mm -hmm. from girls being like, "Uh, I don't like, I don't like women." Just so you know, today, but but that has never happened to me because yeah. if I went to set and a girl looked at me before we were about to have sex and was like, "Listen, I'm not really into girls," mm -hmm. I'd be like, "I gotta go home." Yeah. And the yeah. only reason being is because I, it's like not, at that point, the money isn't worth it to me. Yeah. Because then it's like, they're consenting to working with me, 
but you don't even want to be here. Yeah. And that's weird to me. And I'm how can so you have chemistry? There's you cannot build <laughs> chemistry and this you know the scene's just going to be no, terrible. No, and it's really funny because some of my uh, some of the scenes that I've done with girls that didn't say that they were straight but were obviously like straight. I've done scenes with girls like that and some fans are like, "Wow, like that was such a good scene. I love that scene so much." And I'm like, "I feel like my acting has to come out." in those situations. So mm -hmm. the only thing that made that scene better was the fact that I was trying 10 times harder than I would usually be trying mm -hmm. because I had to compensate for the fact that neither of us wanted to be there. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, you know, I really like working with women that actually like women. Same. It's rough. Nice you're, you're a great actress, by the way. I finally got to work Thank with Freya um, recently. Um, you did Russian, was it? I, it was a German accent. German, yeah, German. Hot, yes. Yes, she was uh, Fuchs. I was um, Sergeant Fuchs. Yeah. Or Hot, Fox, yeah. whatever you yeah. want. Hot, yeah, I don't know what hot yeah is, but I just made it up. I don't know, but she was wearing this fucking beret and this a tie, tie and... I yes. I just immediately, I don't know. I didn't, That's I don't make hot. the rules here. It just happened, I was like, okay. I also love that, like, the just the visual <laughs> of, like, a, of a very, you know, sexy brunette and a very sexy blonde. I time. literally did not get to have sex with her. We did get I to have sex. Wait, what? No. I had sex with Kenna James. Shout out Kenna. Kenna's hot too. I fucking love Kenna. I, I love, love that horror. Sexy. Kenna, three people Kenna love you that are here today. Pick, Kenna can peg me as well. Yeah. No, I might eat her out as well. I don't know. Uh, oh. I love her. Peaches is I, feeling frisky. Oh <laughs> I get that we're gonna get drunk. I'm like, I'll experiment. <laughs> Oh my god, he's like a. I, but no, like he's like a girl. I remember like when I first over. met Kenna. I fucking love her. Yeah, me too. I fucking love she's her. Great. She's, she's what's really the great. What's the funniest thing that's happened to you lately? The funniest thing that's happened to me lately. Yeah. My life isn't very funny. Not intentional. You're fucking hilarious. Shut up. But it's not intentional. Like nothing. <laughs> nothing intentional. It doesn't have funny to be intentional. It's just funny. Like I was at. They were at the Seven Eleven earlier, and people were going crazy. Like, you know what I mean? Like, just something funny. Um, something ha ha ha. Funny. Tea. I'm laughing. Oh, <laughs> here's a fucking story that happened yesterday. It wasn't funny at the time. Now that I look back at it, it's a little bit funny. Um, I pissed everywhere in a Nordstrom's rack. Uh, Nordstrom rack? Nordstrom's whatever. I peed everywhere. Okay. <laughs> You're not laughing, but it's really funny. No, don't in the store. Badges and peeing everywhere. Like, I don't get it. Don't they have a bathroom? Alone. Yeah, we don't listen. We don't know Can where you just the toilet like, is. Regulate uh, your bladders. Okay. I don't understand. Let me explain myself. I'm gonna <laughs> guess she had a dress on. She's walking with the dress, and every two seconds is. Okay. Here. All right, you know what? I guess I've never worn a dress. So I wouldn't understand. Here's my what bad. happened. Excuse me. Yes, yeah, so let's hear it. Forty-five minute I window went or something. With my porn mom <laughs> and my real mom. <laughs> to the fucking Nordstrom, uh -huh. okay? Mm -hmm. And I have this one piece on, it's like a romper situation, and mm -hmm. I had to go to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. And so I went to pull it down. To get naked. But also, I don't put my bare ass on public seats. Mm -mm, never. Ever. Ugh. I always do. So I put my back Ugh. hand on the wall, and I kind of do a squatting situation uh -huh. so that the pee can go into the toilet without my body touching the toilet. And it shot straight. So instead of it going right into the toilet, it just defied gravity and went outside of the toilet onto the ground and onto my jumper, which I hadn't realized until I had pulled it up and was like, okay, I just peed all over the floor, which is fine. But um, I hope I didn't get it on my clothes. Why do I smell like pee right no, now? No, but it was like a really good pee. It was like a clear, clean pee. Like, I'm hydrated. I love that. So... She drinks a lot of water. That's why her skin is so phenomenal. I don't know about that. But so, <laughs> so I get up and I look in the mirror because I'm like, did I get any of it on me? Not only did I get some of it on me, but there was like just the entire ass of like this romper was like covered in pee. And if someone <laughs> says, it, says anything, you're like, what? I'm just super horny right now. <laughs> I'm fucking wet. I'm throbbing. So I had to walk out and find my porn mom, find my mother. We need to leave immediately. And that's exactly what happened. I made a mess in the bathroom. But wait, didn't did. you just like say you were in the middle of like a Nordstrom? Yep. Can you just like bought something? You know, that's a really, I was thinking about that for a moment, but then that would require me looking around and like getting something. And I was so close to my house. Right. So I was okay. like, this, th this day is done. If you're close I'm to your done. house and that makes sense. Cause like, I remember like, um, 
I, I came out here, started to make it about me again. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, I'll shut up. This You're the co host. It's okay. All right, fine. All right. You know what? I'm going to go on. Um, so, Do it. <laughs> about like, just like, you know what? Can I just buy something? <laughs> um, no, I, I felt like I was making a. I don't normally wear onesies. Mm -hmm. It's a thing for some people. <laughs> and um, I was like, you know what? Whatever. I'll just wear a onesie today because it was free and someone sent it to me. Uh, shout out to JJ Malibu. Thank you. And. Um, yeah, I was just, if I didn't like it later, if I made a mess because I had a film today, mm -hmm. um, I would be like, all right, cool. Like, if I'm not feeling, like, totally sexy, I can just, like, go, like, pop over to some dumb store or wherever and just, like, pop on a T-shirt. <laughs> That's my story. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for your story. Not being practical. Wait, not being, like, do you knowing <laughs> if I need to buy something. <laughs> do you I can consider do it. yourself an extrovert or introvert? Um... I'm definitely an introvert. Yeah? I don't mean to be, because I actually like being social. I don't feel like socially inept, mm -hmm. but like I just don't like going out and like, I don't like loud crowds. I don't like sweaty people. You don't like, like concerts or I sporting do. events? I, I mm, That's weird. I guess I do, yeah. but I don't want people to talk to me. <laughs> like I want to go and enjoy the festivities. Mm -hmm. I want everyone to leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> Except for the three individuals. Just go along. You're like a me. separate little balcony. Yeah. <laughs> she's the she's the type of girl that needs to go to, you know, Lakers game to get the suite by herself. Yeah. Okay. I need to, like, talk to, like, I have, like, four she's friends. She's fancy. So I need, like, my four friends and then anyone else that approaches me. Unless you're, like, offering me Dippin' Dots, then I don't want it. <laughs> that are, like, $18 for, like, yeah. two ounces. Yeah. Like, this is a baseball <laughs> game. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like in a tiny little hat. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and a souvenir cup yeah. that costs $17. The drink is only $3. So it's fine. Like I'd rather like fuck myself in the ass. <laughs> what do people, uh, what do you think like people mi most uh, misunderstand about you? Um, this is like professionally or personally. I feel like I, hmm. I feel like I come across kind of cunty sometimes, but it's literally just because that's how I am. I'm not, actually not a cunt. I'm a very emotional person, mm -hmm. but I just come across that way because I don't have time or like the emotional effort to like tiptoe around people. Mm -hmm. um, so especially if I start to get like irritated or something, which doesn't really happen, especially on set. Mm -hmm. But once I do, it's like, Oh, this girl's a fucking bitch. It's not like the worst when you have to like explain yourself to like directors. Like, I'm not being a bitch. I'm just like, <laughs> I'm just being real. Okay. I need, I need food. I'm usually not like this. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna God. do that on my scene with uh, my first uh, why not buy scene. I'm like, I'm, I'm just hungry right now, and I'm watching my roommate get her pussy eaten. I don't know what you want. This is weird for me. <laughs> Sharing so, a spotlight. Would you say like you don't like sugar, you don't like to sugarcoat things, basically? Yeah, I don't, and I also prefer that other people don't do that with me. That's Same. very fair. So I don't want to. I don't ever like. I don't ever treat people the way that I don't expect to be treated. Like I'm just gonna that's talk also to you, very fair. and that's okay for you to talk to me like this as well. Just fucking tell me how it is, please. Oh God, yeah. 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 Absolutely. Were, were you raised with like really good manners and respect and stuff like that? Yeah. yeah. I, I can tell. Yeah. You're really respectful. Thank you. Yeah. yeah I, I just, my mom was also like, I was raised by a single mother. Mm -hmm. So like, you know, she she's actually out here visiting right now and we went out to dinner and she's like, why does everybody in California put their elbows on the table? Oh my God, yes. Like, what the fuck? She's like, look, everybody's like, I'm like, mom, that's just like a, that's a social thing. Where's yeah. your mom from? She's from Colorado. Okay. Is that where you're from too? Yeah. That's where you're born and raised? Mm, I love nice. her already. She sounds <laughs> yeah. great. I can't believe they're putting their elbows on the table. I love watching a bitch cat, like, just like completely criticize everyone else. I think that's so funny. <laughs> no, the fun, but also she's like, she's like a Hispanic woman. Okay. She'll like get up and like dance and like drink Hell with yeah. my friends and Ooh. be like fun. But she just can't stand like the elbows on the table. Right. She's so weird. My She's mom a nitpicker is, about certain things. Okay, yeah. cool. My mom's the same, not about elbows, but <laughs> she hates when people chew with their mouths open. Oh, my mom too. And smacks Absolutely really loud. not. That's not. Like, uh, I'll never forget one time. I think I was like 10 years old and I was chewing gum and I was smacking it really loud. I wasn't even thinking. And my mom goes, you smack, I smack. And went poof on my head. <laughs> I was like, yep, never smacking my gum again. <laughs> yeah, my mom 
took like read an etiquette like a child etiquette book growing up for my brother and I and whenever we would smack we were forced to like watch ourselves eat in the mirror I shit you fucking not. My mom, when she was a kid, um, she got her pony, t- her hair, and her food, and my dad cut her hair off. What? Are we just like sharing childhood trauma <laughs> now? That didn't happen oh, to mine's me. Mine's not trauma. It's didn't fine. to me because I the police. My mom will actually <laughs> okay. be listening to this because my mom's like super supportive and. My mom yeah. also got punched She'll in the teeth laugh. when she was eight, but that's a different story. Oh Jesus. By her dad, too. She's going there. I don't know. No, I don't make the rules. <laughs> Italians, ladies and gentlemen. No. Oh, we love them. <laughs> well, you know, you brought up your mom. Who are the, if you had to choose, like, two, like, most influential people in your life, who would you say they are? In my life. Yeah. Oh, God, that's really hard. Well, I guess my mom is one of them. Mm-hmm. Um, God, I don't know. I feel like... I don't know. I'm so influenced by so many people. Mm-hmm. Um, I I don't know. It's it's always changing too. When I think about people that really influenced me when I was younger and what I wanted to do when I was younger, mm-hmm. versus like, I was like, yeah, these people are like the reason I am how I am. Mm-hmm. But also then the people that influence me today, it's just like it's changing all the time. Yeah, we're constantly evolving for yeah. sure. So I'm constantly like, I don't know the. I mean, there's, like, so many people in my life today that inspire me. My mom, you know, my mom's also very supportive of me and Mm -hmm. has been with me through my whole porn journey. So, yeah. Does she root you on? She's like, yeah. She does. Yeah, that's cool. That's how my mom is, She's really good. Sometimes I'll, like, crop (laughs) photos uh, because I get, like, a really cute picture taken at work. But I'm like, I'm in a thong. So I'll, like, crop it and send it to her. I do the same thing. I do the same thing. I'll even, like, I'll text my mom, like, hey, are you okay with seeing a little bit of ass? (laughs) <laughs> even though she's seen my ass yeah, already yeah. and she knows she what my ass looks like diaper. but it's like our hair girl <laughs> yeah yeah no i do the same thing like i did this photo shoot recently and i was wearing a black uh, see-through bra and like a white shirt and so when i sent it to my mom i took i did the, the markup thing yeah. yeah i took i did the markup thing in the iphone and colored it black so yeah. you couldn't see my nipples yeah <laughs> she was like oh my god that looks so cool but yeah yeah it's, Oh, I I really am grateful for that. Um, yeah. I'm sure you are too, because sure. and you so also lucky. like yeah. we really are. So lucky. I have came across so many people, you know, in our industry where their families have completely disowned them, right. or you know, their families just aren't supportive at all of what they do. Yeah. And I feel like so blessed, you know, to be able to have a family that supports what I do. Yeah, for sure. No, like I I remember even going to my mom and being like. Um, what if I did porn? Like, what if I just started doing porn? And, and at that point, she's like, well, haven't you have, like, a porn star on your wall in your room? <laughs> um, you collect porn DVDs. I don't know you why that would be such a jump. <laughs> like, I don't know. Through my Amazon account. <laughs> um, she was like, did like, you all count? I'm being, like, suggested is more porn. Like, I don't know did what you want. Did you cam at all? Or did I you did. Just, yeah. So yes. you cammed and then you jumped into porn. I did. I was camming um, at the beginning of the pandemic. My um, mom had moved site? on uh, my free cams. Okay. I like my Yeah. Cams. And, and my mom had just moved out of the apartment that we were living in together. Mm-hmm. And I was looking for a place to live. And she's like... How are you? Because I had to quit that desk job that I had that was yeah. awful. Oh yeah. God! And she was like, "How are you like affording to like pay your bills and stuff right now?" And I was like, "I'm beating off on cam, okay? Yeah, I <laughs> have an OnlyFans and I'm camming." And she was like, "Okay." I'm under 25 and I'm hot and I'm a woman. Yeah, a pussy. Don't ask me that question. <laughs> <laughs> how dare you? It's <laughs> really how it question went. mate. <laughs> So then uh, you had that discussion with her and you basically just jumped right in. You were like, I'm going to try this. Did you research uh, as far as agents go? Because I know we're with the same agent. But, yeah. Um, so I had actually been, um, I went to AVN in 2020. And uh, I, I wonder had, if I met you there. I met so many people there. Yeah. I went to like a couple of parties too. So I yes. like think about all the people that I ran into yeah. and just didn't realize I at was the out, time. Um, the Evil Angel booth and then Jules Jordan booth. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I actually don't know if I went to either of those, yeah. but I, I waited in line for a lot of people. Yeah. And so I, um, yeah, I'd gone and done that. And sorry, what was the initial question? I'm getting off oh, track. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> 
did, did, I was just asking, did you did you uh, research? Uh, oh right, you know, an right, agent right. And all that stuff. For so representation. then I had followed a bunch of those models, and a lot of those models had followed me back on social media, and so. Um, our agent had reached out to me on mm -hmm. Instagram and I was like, okay, I know who you are. And I knew yeah. who, like what girls were with Motley. Mm -hmm. um, that had to feel so fucking good. When you say you, are you talking about me? What? No. Oh, okay. I, I was like, what? <laughs> no, I just, I knew like, uh, like I just signed with them. I knew like, like Emily and like, I knew a couple yeah. of other girls and people that were signed with Motley. Yeah. And I was like, okay but i also never thought that i would like be performing mm -hmm. i thought i would do like pa i thought i would direct i thought i would do like sound like i literally thought i was going to be behind the camera yeah but darling i mean if you're you doing, like, a, if you're you can coming but yeah but i knew no. that that like the difference between that and porn yeah. i have i, I had it's, educated myself so right. much yeah. on porn that i was like that's so smart i actually yeah. really like that that's really good yeah thank you yeah so i was like i kind of knew that once i committed to it i knew like generally what i was getting myself yeah. into yeah so once i really we, like that that's yeah. really thank you that's i don't think that's normal that's really good it that's depends really, that's really I, I mean, I, that's that's good. I like. I'm kind of the I same way that. as far as like you know researching into things because I don't know about you. I'm super competitive right. and like when I do something, I want to be the best at it yeah. or the closest to the best same, possible. Yeah. So I'm like uh, looking into every single different avenue of how can I do this and this and this and this. Right. And our industry is constantly evolving and things are changing. I mean. It's so different from how it was seven years ago. Right. Thanks now, to simple like, legislation. Like, only uh. fans was never a thing. Like none of these content things were, were ever a thing. You know what right. I mean? It was just you either webcammed or you did porn videos. Yep. And now it's like there's so many different ways Avenues, to right. yeah to make an income and to use your brand and stuff like that. Oh, thank God. Yeah. yeah, and a lot of people don't utilize it because they don't want to take the time to research into it. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, it, that was almost scarier though. It's almost because I had like an idea <laughs> of what what I was gonna do or get yeah. myself into. So I was like, okay, there's like no. It's very black and white. Like mm -hmm. either I'm gonna do this or I'm not gonna do this. Mm -hmm. I think it's also good too to make sure that you do have that mindset because I don't. I don't think it's good to like do like full on studio porn and not be fully committed. You do it yeah. all the way or not at all because like you're not gonna achieve the things you can actually achieve and like make the money that you can actually make right. if you don't go full on. Like yeah. full mm -hmm. full you know, full train ahead. Right. <laughs> choo choo. Hey girl. Well, and also you have train, to be able a train. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you have to be able to like uh, like when people approach you about yeah. it. Mm-hmm. You have to be like, yeah, that's something I did. Absolutely. And that's something I do. And instead of being like, what? I don't. Well, yeah. Like, no, I wanted to look people dead in the face and be like, yeah, yeah. I do porn. And when I yeah. go back home from my, for like family trips or whatever, mm -hmm. and people think that, oh, I'm going to bring this up to her. And I'm like, yeah, that's what I do. Yeah. <laughs> what about oh. it? You know, it's so funny. Oh, because like that, like completely throws in their face like oh yeah have you been watching yeah have you been how watching did, bitch how did you find out about that exactly oh okay that's, that's the fair. funniest thing i think is like people that like bullied me when i was in school fuck them that yeah, made my them. life a living hell yeah. at school on the school bus after school and now they're in your dms yeah so. now they're like mm, can i borrow some like money to fund this are or, they kidding and they're That's they're still disgusting. they're yeah. still living like where I'm from. Like everyone is um basically almost everyone is still like yep. there. Yep. They don't want to do anything. Yep. Yeah. Don't cry for me, Michigan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, <just gonna laughs> I'm not saying like, oh huh, I'm on my pedestal, I'm better no, than but, but we, like no, I, I was like, sure. I I sure. Yeah, I was and like, I wanna like, get the out we're of gonna here, do dude. something else. Yeah, we're not gonna stay in this small town with the do what everybody else is Absolutely doing. I just cannot imagine though, like making fun of someone and making their life a living hell and then hitting them up, you know, 15, the, 20 years later. The like, gall. Like, like yeah. that's crazy. <laughs> the audacity. The motherfucking well, and audacity. Also, like, I feel like just a small anything in general tends to be very, very toxic. Mm -hmm. And that's also what I feel like I love about Los Angeles. Yeah. Like, people talk about like Los Angeles as if it's like, it's just so toxic, man. Like, no, people are too busy worrying about themselves and trying to fix themselves yeah. here. Yeah. yeah. Which is my understanding. <laughs> um, and that's why, like, I have a couple of friends in um, Tampa who I love and adore. Mm -hmm. I'm like, you guys just need to come out here. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I've never felt more happy and more comfortable with who I am right. since I moved here. Yeah. Because yeah. no one 
fucking cares? People will go to the Abbey in their pajamas. No one <laughs> yeah. fucking cares. We, no one cares. It's so, it, I, I mean, it's obviously it's it's super, still evolving, but it's yeah. so accepted here to just be who you want to be. Mm-hmm. And because everyone's just trying to just be who they the best version, version of themselves, of themselves. Yeah. and that's not in, that's not including you. Yeah, I'm focused just, on me. I'm not journey. here to judge you. I'm here yeah. to work yeah. on myself. Exactly. exactly. Yeah, it's about my journey. Absolutely, yeah. which sounds selfish, but, but that's not. actually for the best. Yeah, yeah. you're because <laughs> if you're not your best self, then how can you like deliver treat others yeah, yeah. in a mm-hmm. You know, an appropriate and, and nice and a, yeah. and a kind way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, what um, what doors do you think the industry has opened for you thus far? In your wow, career? an unexpected door that opened for me that I was not even thinking about mm-hmm. when I got into the industry was like like doing anything like mainstream. Mm-hmm. I never thought about like actual mainstream acting. Mm-hmm. I never, um, I never. Th- thought about like nude actors or anything like that yes girl and i just did uh i was in a movie in august that comes mm-hmm. out in december mm-hmm. but i was like holy shit um did you sign an nda i i did i actually can't talk about we'll it we'll talk about it after we'll talk about it after <laughs> but, okay but yeah it was like crazy like and i next thing i knew i was like okay let me from my understanding i got on a plane and i moved to california Absolutely. to do the naked movies Ooh. and then I had like an eye opening moment on the set of this movie where I was like actually butt ass naked in front of like the biggest stars in Hollywood. Absolutely. And I was like, how did I get here? This is a weird That's ad. amazing. I don't know what's happening. So I probably would have had a panic attack. Yes, it was girl. Crazy. No, that's so exciting. I can't. I, I just that's can't. That's so cool, though. Yeah. Especially it's awesome. like, if the people who cast you, if they like yeah. you. Yeah. That's what it all comes down to. If it's, mm-hmm. As long as you make sure that those people who like cast you and mm-hmm. like. Play nice, girl. Always play nice. Yeah. That's so exciting. Yeah. Yay. And for, for you. anyone who yeah. uh, doesn't know, when we say mainstream, we're talking about film that is not full on Hollywood. Yeah. Full like, on Hollywood movies and yeah. places where about jazz, yeah. music videos. Ooh, yes. And, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> is it bad that <laughs> I can like do that? I fucking like out. I can outdo you both. I can just like. Uh. <laughs> I don't even want to attempt to Half of our to job is voice acting, though. Try to yeah. do it, bitch. <laughs> Imagine being quiet the whole time. Do it. Do it. Oh. <laughs> oh that God. was me coming in the guy today. I'm like, yeah. Because <laughs> when you've been holding your cum for like, like oh, all day, finally. you turn into Batman. Release the Kraken. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> you turn into Rocco Steel. Look her up. She's great. I love her. Uh, <laughs> shout, shout out to Rocco Steel. No, what uh? What makes you feel inspired or motivated in uh, daily? Um, inspired or motivated? Um, probably other people in the industry. Probably the success of others. But nothing inspires me more than that. Like seeing other people succeed. I'm like, mm-hmm. that could be me. If I work as hard as you, I could do that. Like I'm just constantly feeling motivated by my peers Mm -hmm. in a way that I never expected to be motivated by. Like I, obviously being a fan gave me a different like eye. Like like I feel like I appreciate the industry on a different level than some people do because I was a fan before, but like I'm just constantly being like motivated by other people's success and like Mm -hmm. watching other people do things or create things. And I'm like, that's so inspiring. And I really love my job. It consumes a lot of my time. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, you know, I'm constantly thinking of new ways to like do things or, you know, anything along those lines. So yeah. I love that. You're so mature for your age. Thank you. I don't hear I mean, that very often. She's a Gen X or she's been through shit. <laughs> Am I a Gen X? I don't know. Oh, I Gen Z. Sorry, I, I don't know why I mixed up those letters. I don't. I don't know the gens. Uh, I don't know any of that. The gens. I, just a shout yeah. out to Hadley. I oh. fucking love this horror. So I got a new assistant, and she is fabulous. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's her waving. Hey girl, um, hey. So oh, did I you? Will... Did you go to college or no? Girl. Uh, no, I right out of high school, I had that. Name your price. I'll buy casting. you whatever you want. It adds texture. <laughs> What's the last thing you Googled? The last thing I Googled? Yeah. Oh, God, I'm scared. Do you want me to actually yeah. tell you? Yeah. Fuck my life. Oh, no. <laughs> this is kind of scary. Should we look at her history together? No, she'll tell us. She doesn't lie. 
Oh, one to believe my her? fucking what gosh. Is it? Show it. Show it. What is it? It's Julia Fox Waze. Do you guys know the op Waze? What is mm-hmm. it? Oh, the... I heard this rumor <laughs> that Julia Fox started narrating Waze. Did she? No, I actually oh. looked it up to see if it was true because I was going to download it... Waze. So it could be like, Who's... turn left at the next street. Is it bad? I don't know who Julia and Fox I... is. And that. Yeah, she's the girl that was right. like, I was... Um, From what, though? N- Something Safty's muse for uncut gems. I don't know the girl that said that. Oh, oh shit! I feel like I have to look that up later. What's your most embarrassing memory? My most embarrassing yeah. memory. Not talking about the pissing moment. Oh, from... wasn't she like? Never mind. I'll go. <laughs> My most embarrassing yeah. memory. Yeah, that you can think of. Oh God. I don't know. You can share. It's okay. She's literally everyone. Curl- everyone loves water. this. Fuck. I love when you're vulnerable. It I makes love when me you're hard. embarrassed. It's hot. <laughs> Shit. My most embarrassing. Well, you have to like. You'll get to the point where you don't get embarrassed. Like well, me. Well, this I'm is like, true. Yeah. I I'm an okay. Here's the thing though. I just tweeted the other day. I embarrass myself every single day. Mm. Every single day, like small things, mm-hmm. like I'm embarrassed. So today, what did you do? Well, I don't know about today, but like two days ago, okay. this is like the smallest thing. But this just gives you a spectrum as to how embarrassed I get over dumb shit. Okay. But I got out. I just moved into a new, new apartment building, and mm-hmm. the leasing office lady that works at the leasing office lives in the building. So, Ew, but go on. <laughs> so I was walking to my apartment, <laughs> and it was like ten o'clock at night. And it's the first time I've seen her since I moved in. Oh, no. So I get home and I'm like walking and I see her and I'm like, oh, I know her. Like she literally right. helped me get this fucking apartment. And I'm like, oh, hey. And she was like. She's like, yeah, we don't we don't talk to each other. That's exactly what she, I and She's I'm like, like, thanks for helping me get a sale. But like, fuck off. But like, fuck off. You Respectfully. Dumb, you dumb fucking bitch. I got into the elevator Bye, and bitch. I was so embarrassed. I was so embarrassed in that elevator. Like, I was like, I was about friends in that elevator. What like, I love is that you're embarrassed. I feel like if any, I feel like I would be pissed. Like, you fucking whore. <laughs> I took the time out of my day to say hi to you. Michael and Peaches. you didn't say a word. Michael Peaches would literally wait for her to go to sleep. I ring, wait for her to get into her car and I blow it up. Ring, no. ring, <laughs> ring her doorbell 20 times and piss on the welcome mat and walk away. That's what Michael Peaches. It hurt my no, feelings. I, I wait hurts. for her to open the door that I piss on her. <laughs> <laughs> You're like marking your territory. No, I'm just trying to prove a point. Yeah. <laughs> I know what point that is, but it's being made. It's unfortunate. <laughs> well, do you consider yourself a, a systematic type person where you you know you plan things or you kind of just wing it? Um, my whole life is just winging it. Yeah, yeah. I don't plan shit. It's very different and from the Sagittarius that was here before you. Well, you plan some stuff. No, I you planned coming here. Well, I was gonna say. So when Wait, I C U M or C O M? Um, hopefully both. both. I don't know. Yeah. Hot. I don't I make mean, the rules. I don't know where the bathroom is. Um, unless you want to do it here, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> you do I, you, girl. I'll stay here and watch. <laughs> when I do plan stuff, it's uh, like over the top. So that's why mm-hmm. I try not to. Ooh. I try to just like kind of like wing everything because then if I start to plan stuff, then I'm like full on extravaganza. It's a, yeah, it's a problem. <laughs> it's a problem. She wants a full. I want my quinceañera. Every day. Every single day. Are you Hispanic? Absolutely. I am. I'm half Hispanic. My mom you is Mexican. You speak Spanish I live. fluently? Um, not fluently. Okay. Um, no, I'm Spanish. Oh. How much Spanish? Um, Un poquito. Un poco. <laughs> Estuve en la clase de español uno, dos y tres. That was actually kind of hot. I know uh, numbers <laughs> and I know like a few words and that's all. I don't know Folks. any. I'm like, hi. <laughs> what's, <laughs> what's one thing that always makes you smile? Um, my cats. Yeah? Aww. How my many babies. cats? I have two cats. What are their names? Walter and Woofy. Yeah. Woofy? Woofy. Her name, okay, technically her name on her birth certificate is Lois. I thought she's a birth she certificate, know. first of all. <laughs> she does. <laughs> she has a birth certificate. I don't even have one of those. <laughs> I don't either. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Lois. Lois, uh, Lois, Lois Griffin, yes. like her yes, family That's guy. exactly what it is. Lois. Yeah. Lois. Is that yeah. her meow? Oh, Peter. <laughs> is that her meow? I don't know. It's like, it's like, real, like down. <laughs> like a weird, like. She has a really high pitched meow, actually. Yeah, what is it? So why like? is she even It's Lois? like, 
Oh, so yeah. cute. Yeah, that would make me smile. That's a happy meow. I'd be She's happy cute. too. I'm I'm kind of allergic. It's weird. I'm allergic to some cats, but not all. Like some cats, I'm like, I can totally deal I get with that. you. I get yeah. that. Yeah. Like I'll be, you know, like Maureen, she'll do my makeup at her house yeah. and her cat will jump in my lap and I'm Cutest petting him. cats ever, yeah. Yeah, and it's fine. But some people, I go to their place and I'm like, I can't. Sneezing, yeah. my eyes are red and mm. watering. and yeah. I'm allergic to most pussy myself. <laughs> If you could have dinner with three people, dead or alive, who would you choose and um, why? Three people. Dead or alive. Um, I would have a Should dinner. We sing it? Preferably dead. When... <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, my God. <laughs> God. Oh, okay. So Madonna. I love Madonna. Also, mm-hmm. I feel like she's kind of lost her mind lately. I, I love her and I feel bad for her. I haven't <laughs> I haven't caught up uh with I, Madonna. No, she is coming from a time and I feel like probably still somewhat I uh, know what I'm making small so Yeah, like, go ahead. Go sorry, ahead. go on. Okay, sorry. so I would have Madonna. I would um have uh, shit. This is so hard. Betty White, probably. She'd be great. Yeah. Rest in peace, Betty. Yeah, she was so close to this year. Like, that's fucked up. Yeah. So, Betty. I can't believe, like, she but died, she outlived, but the like, Queen of her... England is, like, still, like, going. Because she's, like... she's sucking all those Canadian children's <laughs> students' blood. <laughs> what? Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> so, I heard on that weird documentary on, uh, you know, Fox News or whatever. Oh, Use that's Max. what they said. They're yeah, like the queen said. drinks the innocent's blood. Yeah, I got it. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> just kidding to all of the. Uh, <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> just, Jennifer Carlson get get away with it. I can. But that's only fair. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. You know what? I just listen okay. to a lot of bullshit. Sorry, go on. Who's Sorry. your th- Who's your third person? So there's Madonna, Betty White, and I don't know, like. Fucking, there has to be a man there, you know. Yeah. Does there have to be really? I guess. Uh, I don't know. That? Honestly, I would want this to be controversial as fuck. So I would probably invite like fucking. Uh, who's someone really controversial that no one would that. like? Michael Jackson. Like Donald Donald Trump. Oh. Okay. I, I hate Donald Trump. I'm just putting this out there. Well, uh, thank God that you said that. My, no, Michael Jackson. He's controversial. He's but controversial. I would love she, to see him dance. Yeah. But, I would love to see him dance. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I'm just saying. I just feel like Betty would unload on him, and I just want to be there. Oh, for I would live. Yeah. I would literally jerk off to that. Yeah, I would jerk you, off you to Betty White, like Pornhub. taking down. Da- Betty White we're unloads ta- on Donald Trump. It'd be the only thing I get hard politics. to anymore. Like you no just be. No politics. You know what? We're gonna no. go there. We're, we're ready? No. You ready? No. I no almost politics. dropped the mic. <laughs> politics are not allowed on my show. That's the only thing that's not allowed. Oh shit! Yeah. All right, sorry. It's um, okay. We should tell me earlier. I, no, it's okay. I'm Every, the one who ever, brought it up. You can hurt me later no. for doing that. Well, now that makes it. <laughs> wait, no. Now I, now I can feel like. Now I feel like I can talk about politics as long as the guest. Brings it up. Well, pretend like I didn't. Well, no, 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 not even just like that. Like as long as you're like willing to be punished by her. I do. I do want to be punished by her. That's hot. Okay. As long cool. as I can get in trouble for oh, bringing yeah. it up. I'll film it. I'll film it for you. <laughs> you're I'll making me. You're, you're making me hot. She's Graham. ready <laughs> to lick some puss. Oh God. Okay. Oh, so, Excuse me. What's, so the best, what's the best compliment <laughs> you've gotten lately? Oh my god! Yes, I um, love you. Would be like, oh my god! Like, I, I know I can do really good ASMR. I know because like, I kind of like this. I feel like I do like. I hear like um, every like. I literally complimented you like probably four times already today. You get complimented. No, okay. Let me think though. Um, a really good compliment. You she know just, what's the best? The best kind of compliments are from people when you're not expecting it. Right. Like when you're out and about, and someone just like. I was wearing a romper the other day. I just got the the one that I peed on. Actually, was this pre or po- like? She post? loves that fucking romper, pissed or not, <laughs> pissy romper. You know where I got she it might, from? She probably killed free that people. <laughs> and I paid Miss Trump. I feel like you need to go like shop free yeah. people. Hundred dollars. She's fucking wearing that thing out. No, no, it. no way. It was hundred. Was it a hundred? It was seventy. Oh my 100, god. A hundred, if you will. But I was wearing it, and this random lady was like, oh my god. That should be a crime. Cute romper. And I was like, thank you. Unexpected compliments are the best compliments. Like, who the fuck is that lady? I don't even know her. See, I wear short shorts to the airport because I know people compliment my legs, so. (laughs) Why do I believe this? (laughs) I know, and if they don't, they're white, so. Oh 
my god. <laughs> I can just see him like waltzing into the airport. Um, but I'm with not the wearing a coat cinched on, sweatshirt yeah. hoodie. Yeah. And like little short shirts that are just barely covering my balls. Oh my god. No. Because I at don't want to compliment. Do yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like I'm not wearing that because I don't want you to comment on my body. Yeah. Tell me, tell me I have great legs. <laughs> tell me how good I look. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> tell me again, just one more time. Oh Speaking of sadness and desperation, is there anything awesome you've worked on lately that you would like to promote, Freya? Um, like any cool projects or well, something you have coming out? Shit. I'm um, sure she has millions of things coming out. Didn't I, you just drop an anal? Your first anal? No. No? Oh, I'm like, oh, already really? at 21? Did oh. you think that? I thought so. I thought oh. I seen, or maybe it was Vixen. I don't no, know. No, I wish that I had dropped an anal, but Vixen, I'm, Tushy, I don't know. I didn't. I, uh, oh. <gasps> Wait, when is this coming out? This? Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Just go ahead. Um, well, okay. Oh, because this is the 10th episode? I shot for one of my favorite companies <laughs> again. <laughs> Um, I shot for Deeper. I shot for Deeper again. Mm-hmm. I don't know when that's coming out, but I shot for Deeper again. Mm-hmm. Deeper it's been about two audio. months, and the last time I shot for them, it took about three months to come out. So I'm just going to put that out there. Just for everyone uh, that always is like, when's this coming out? When's this coming out? We don't know. We literally don't know. We never Until know. Until you tag us. We never know, you guys. I feel like the people that like, have like weird blogs, not weird, but like, you know, there's those certain like people on Twitter who like have their little blog situations. And they'll like like tag you and everything. Yeah, and, and that's like, what that's, how I that's find how out. You know, yeah, that it's come out. Like sometimes I'm actually shocked when someone's like, oh, I feel like I just barely worked on that. Like it, it just came out now. Okay, oh, it was three months ago. Okay, cool. No. I feel like I just did that. Yeah, it's not like I'm on set and they're like, okay, this is coming out on this date. Yeah, it never at happens. At this time, they that's don't. That's not a thing unless it's like never. a specific thing, like my first DP, my first anal. You have more control over that, but literally anything else. I shot a browser scene like fucking three months ago, four mm-hmm. months. I, I don't know when that shit's coming out. Yeah. Is it coming out? Probably in like nine know. months. Yeah. <laughs> like, if, welcome to It's hell. just like lost in the ball. <laughs> it's like no one will ever see it again. Like, we don't know. We have no idea, so quit asking. <laughs> just kidding, but seriously, don't fucking ask again. <laughs> uh, Fred, would you please share with everyone your social medias, your website, anything you'd like to promo other than the fact you have a few more new scenes coming out whenever um sure my only fans is freya parker i think it's just freya parker please spell your name f-r-e-y-a parker p-a-r-k-e-r <laughs> i mean that's a fair question yeah yeah freya i don't know parker. yeah yeah and um then it's freya parker xo on my instagram and my twitter my tweeter totter and yeah your tweeter hot yes. yes i love the i love the term tweeter totter that's yeah. always a good time that is cute tweeter twatter. well thank you so much for, for coming twatter. on my twatter thank you for having I me i appreciate you so much and everyone if you don't follow her or you're not a fan of her only fans please check it out subscribe and look at her yeah. twitter you already have it now yeah it's great Do it. twitter's nudes. free <laughs> at least <laughs> and uh see you guys next time bye